Alright guys, this time we will be dealing with uh, C++ and here we have one task where we have defined one byte stream MSG with uh, the following information. Uh, so it contains unsigned integers of 8 bytes and it has two of them and we've placed everything in a vector uh, structure. Our goal is to see how we can read from this structure as well as to put new values there. For example, we have created one new value and we're using a function serialize to place this new uh, hexadecimal value of 55 to our uh, vector msg. So we're passing it together with the value to the function serialize. And uh, let's see how it works. As you can see, we have ampersand here. So this means that our vector will be returned modified and uh, we are just using pushback and we are pushing whatever value we are, uh, want to uh, serialize into this uh, vector. If we run the function until now with a 4, we'll see that uh, after compilation we'll have fa, b, c and 55 added to the vector and we are printing the vector also using uh, range uh, cycle so we are not uh, using begin and end uh, from the standard uh, template library but uh, we are saying okay well, out of this vector what kind of uh, length of uh, variables we would like to read and we are reading assigned 8 bits and uh, while we read we are uh, outputting to the screen what's more interesting here is that if we try to output the uh, values without uh, using uh, static uh, casting uh, basically we will not see anything on the screen or we'll see some uh, glibberish and that's because those values can be interpreted as unsigned char it has again eight bits and here we are trying to just output eight bits on the screen and that uh, from the console will not be interpreted uh, correctly uh, that's why we are casting uh, to 16 bits here and uh, outputting the value in the console. So basically we are casting to a char in order to be able to output the individual values from this vector on the console. That's uh, quite important. And now let's see the reverse operation or how we can read specific uh, bytes uh, from this vector and uh, save them in a custom variable. So let's uh, say that uh, we are creating one new variable which is my new value, and it's of type unsigned integer of 16 uh, bits. So then we use the function deserialize, where we are placing uh, again as a first parameter uh, our source vector, and then uh, from which position we would like to read the value, and uh, the last parameter is where we want to store the read information to. Here we are starting reading the vector from the zero position, this means that uh, we're starting from FA um, and I would like to place this value inside of our uh, variable. But since we see that our vector is consisting of 8 bits uh, values and our variable is 16 bits, this means that uh, we need to read two bytes and place them inside of our uh, variable. And let's see how we can achieve this. So we go to the function deserialize and as you can see we are accepting our vector and we'll be modifying in the end the output variable. In order to access the first uh, 8 bits we can do this with uh, the add operator. Uh, so if we pass here 0 we will get the first element at the position 0 and then uh, at position 0 plus 1, we will get the second element. The point is how we can construct from those two values one output variable. And uh, in order to achieve this, we have used uh, two tricks. The first is to read the first um, information or uh, what is stored in the first eight bits and to save it in the output 16-bit uh, variable and then to shift the resulting information to the left with 8 bits. This means that we are leaving 8 bits of space for the second element from our vector. And when we have uh, the first element, then zeros, and then we try to end this with the 
uh, second element, we can manage to compose out of two 8-bit uh, variables, one 16-bit uh, variable, and uh, that's how we get this uh, a whole 16-bit value. Of course, we can uh, shorten the separation here by just uh, typing here value instead of combined value, and it will automatically update um, the value reference here. Uh, and if we run the code, you can see that uh, in the end, uh, we're actually having in our uh, variable my new value uh, two bytes. And if you wonder how we can use this function further, actually we can compose multiple functions deserialize this realize, where you are accepting values of a different uh, type. And uh, if you have different implementations of those functions, actually we'll be creating overridden functions and uh, they will respond differently. This way achieving effective deserialization of uh, different custom uh, sized uh, variables. Now, thanks for watching and I hope uh, this video is useful in your endeavors with uh, C++ and bits manipulation. Thank you.